Welcome to Upsides, and more importantly, welcome to the 2014 NFL season. I'm Matt Ufford. I'll be previewing a selection of NFL games every single week on Upsides with the help of fact checker Alex. Hello, sound guy Will. They root for the Niners and Cowboys, respectively. I'm a Seahawks fan. I apologize in advance. Game number one of this 2014 season and uh, week one is, of course, Green Bay at Seattle, the Super Bowl champion Seattle Seahawks. Oh, God, that sounds good. Now, of course, the Packers have arguably the best passing offense in the NFC. Seahawks, best passing defense. Strength against strength. Who comes out on top? Uh, on the Seahawks, on the offensive side of the ball, Marshawn Lynch returns, of course, beast mode. Offensive line was their worst unit last year, and they're still just like, F it, let's just keep running. Yeah, uh, Marshawn Lynch led the NFL in broken tackles last year. And hearts. And hearts. Packers on defense eh, might have some trouble up the middle of the defense. B.J. Raji injured out for the season. Season, yes. Torn biceps out for the year. Oof. Other big news stories leading the NFL. Of course, they're cracking down on defensive holding, uh, pass interference, etc., etc. And of course, the Seahawks have a very handsy approach to pass defense. You want some stats, Alex? Hit me with some knowledge. Three preseason games. Uh, they were actually called for defensive holding zero times. SB Nation's NFL editors favor the Seahawks to win this game, and I do too. Uh, with a line set at five and a half to six, according to our friends at Odd Shark, um, I'm going to take the Seahawks. I like them by a touchdown, maybe even 10 or 12. That home crowd, Russell Wilson. It'll be loud. They'll be pumping in the artificial noise in the stadium engineer. So lame. You're amplify. such a conspiracy theorist. Say it. Say and, it. Uh, but you know what? I'll take the Packers with the points. <laughs> but the Seahawks to win. You're such a coward. I think the viewer wins. <laughs> Let's talk about two NFC South rivals. The Saints travel to Atlanta to face the Falcons. Two hyped aerial attacks. Falcons looking to have a bounce back year with Roddy White and Julio Jones finally healthy. I think they might be the worst team in football this year. Only the Seahawks had a better passing defense in 2013 than the Saints did, and they added Jarris Bird to the secondary. The line on this game is Saints by two and a half. Oof. Uh, the Falcons' lack of ability to get it done on defense has me leaning that way. I'm going to take the Saints along with the uh, SB Nation editors who favor them outright. What do you say? Go ahead and just bet everything on the Saints. Whoa, don't bet everything on the Saints. We do not bet recommend. Bet everything. Bet everything. The house, the kids. Fine. It is always a special treat when we have a rivalry week on Upsides. In this case, it is Alex's 49ers against Will's Cowboys. The Cowboys, of course, have just signed defensive end Michael Sam, who's not noteworthy in any way. To their practice squad. Uh, Alex, go ahead and spew some 49ers uh, propaganda. All right, so basically the big weak the big weakness throughout the offseason was the right side of the offensive line. Alex Boone holding out Anthony Davis offseason shoulder surgery. They should both be back to maul the worst D-line in football. Matters win. <laughs> Will, you got anything about the Cowboys to say? They look real good. Look real good out there. All right, so the Cowboys are terrible on defense, but the Niners had a pretty shaky preseason on offense. SB Nation's editors favor the Niners to win. The line is Niners by four and a half. That's a little bit big for my liking. Needless to say, I'll take the Niners to cover. Emotional win, 1-0. I'll take it. Mm -mm -mm. Week one, Sunday night football. Nice opener for NBC. Indianapolis Colts at Denver Broncos. Broncos, the AFC champions. Did you know Broncos Super Bowl quarterback Peyton Manning once played for the Indianapolis Colts. I looked it up. It's true. Can't trust the internet. No. Nah. Oh, really? That's what I heard on the internet. After getting blown out in the Super Bowl, Broncos underwent uh, a little bit of tweaking on offense. Uh, Eric Decker walked in free agency. They replaced him with Emmanuel Sanders. On the other side of the ball, realized they need some help on defense. Von Miller is back from a torn ACL and suspension, and they added Demarcus Ware, Akeem Tlaib, and TJ Warden free agency. That defense is going to be up against a Colts team that, of course, is led by Andrew Luck and his Amish beard and grrr face. Don't sleep on Dante Moncrief. I think he's a... Uh... Dante. I think I'm going to sleep on Dante Moncrief. I'm going to sleep on the entire Colts team. Listen, if you're a Colts fan, that's great. I'm happy for you. Congrats on all your mayonnaise. But this is a team that is lousy, with the exception of its fantastic quarterback and terrible AFC South division. 
SB Nation editors favor the Broncos in this game. The line, according to Odd Shark, is Broncos by nine. I'll take the Broncos to win. I'll take the Broncos on those points. Uh, I think it's a few too many points. I'll take the Colts to cover. Let's wrap things up with some discussion of Monday Night Football. Giants at Lions. Nobody's staying up late to watch the Cardinals or Chargers. Sorry, diehard Arizona fans. Eli Manning behind a shaky offensive line in a new West Coast offense he hasn't mastered, going up against Ndamukong Su. What could possibly go wrong for the Giants? Ah, uh, I have no idea what to expect out of the Giants, but probably disappointment is a start. And the Lions, who knows what to expect out of them? They started last season six and three, picked up great in-division wins. All they had to do was not throw the anchor through the bottom of the boat, and they would have gone to the playoffs. They threw the anchor through the bottom of the boat. I believe that's called Detroiting it. Alex, what's the line on this game? Uh, Detroit by five and a half. Do not bet on this game. That said, if you do bet, you're saying what? Bet it all. <laughs> bet it all. Well, you didn't bet on New Orleans. Bet all just on this game. Not um, on one side or the other, just on the game. Who do you like? I think Lions win by 10. Uh, SB Nation's football editors lean with the Lions, winning this one outright. I'm going to go with the Lions as well. I'll, I'll take, the, take the points. I'll say Lions by a touchdown uh, just because the Giants are excellent at disappointing. Those are the five best games of NFL's week one, previewed by me and some guys in a studio somewhere. Thanks for watching Upsides. We'll see you next week. Hey, thanks for watching this SB Nation video. If you liked it, do us a solid and click that thumbs up button. And for more from SB Nation, subscribe to our channel. And while you're at it, how about watching one of these videos over here? Come on, what else are you doing today? Click it. Go.